Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will solve another exercise on loops. And here is the exercise. We want to write a program that reads a positive integer n from the user and displays the following. Have a look over here. We are displaying n lines or n rows, okay? In the first row, we are displaying the number one, one time. In the second row, we are displaying the number two, two times. And in the nth row, we want to display the number n, n times, okay? Now I want you to pause the video and try to solve this exercise using nested loops. So how are we going to solve this exercise? As you can see, we are printing n lines or n rows. So we have an outer loop that is responsible for printing a new line, okay? And in each line, we want to print some numbers as you can see. For example, in the fourth line, we want to print the number four, four times. So we have an inner loop that prints the numbers in each line. So let's go to IntelliJ. So as you can see, we are reading an integer from the user and storing it inside a variable called n. So this variable is the number of lines or the number of rows that we want to print, okay? So as we said, we have an outer loop that is responsible for printing a new line. And in this case, we want n lines, right? So in this loop, we want to have n iterations. So let's start from one, and we are going to iterate as long as i is less than or equal to n. And each time we will increment i by 1. So in this loop we have n iterations. Now at the end of this loop, we want to get to a new line. So we will have something like this. Now before printing a new line, we want to print the numbers in each line, right? So we are going to use another loop over here. Now as we said, in the first line we are printing the number 1 one time. In the second line we are printing the number 2 two times, and so on. And as you can see, in the first line, i is equal to 1 and we want to print one thing. In the second line, i will be equal to 2, and we want to print two things. So in the inner loop, we are going to iterate i iterations. So let's say we have a variable j, which is equal to 1, and j will be less than or equal to i. And after that, we'll increment j. So for example, in the third iteration, i will be equal to 3, and this loop will iterate 3 times. And in the nth iteration, i will be equal to n, so this loop will iterate n times, right? So now what do we want to print inside this loop? In the first line, we are printing the number 1. In the second time, we are printing the number 2, and so on. So as you can see, we are printing i. So over here, we are going to print i, okay? Now one final thing, we want to use the print method over here. So let's run the program, and let's enter 5 for example, and press enter. So as you can see, this is our output. So what's happening exactly? First of all, i is equal to 1. So is 1 less than or equal to 5? Yes, this is true. So now we are going to execute this loop over here. So j starts from 1, and j is less than or equal to 1. So this loop will iterate one time. And in this case, we are printing i, which is equal to 1. And after that, we are getting to a new line. So we printed this row over here, and now we are in the second line. So now we want to increment i, so i is equal to 2. So is 2 less than or equal to 5? Yes, this is true. So now this loop will iterate two times because j is equal to 1 and it is going to be less than or equal to 2, okay? So we are going to print 2 2 times. So as you can see, we printed 2 2 times and after that, we are getting to a new line. So now we are over here. And after that, we are going to increment i and this will continue until this loop is finished. And this is when i is equal to 5. So we printed the number 5 5 times and we are done. So to think about these exercises, we need to find out what we are printing in each line and how many lines we have. The outer loop will be responsible for how many numbers of lines we have and the inner loop will be responsible for what we are printing inside each line, okay? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.